Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. For those of you that are new, my name is Maggie and welcome. Today I want to share with you how to make my baked Parmesan chicken. It is really delicious. By no means is this like the only authentic way to make it. This is just what works for me. Um, I serve this usually along pasta or like a salad. It is divine and it's not fried, it's baked so it's better obviously for you. You're not ingesting all that oil. Um, but still just as delicious. So if you want to see how it comes together, make sure you keep watching. Alrighty, let's hope I get this all in one shot. You're gonna need marinara sauce, um, parmesan and mozzarella, and here I have a mixture of breadcrumbs and flour, some eggs, salt, Italian seasoning, pepper, chicken breast, and you are gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, before we get started, I just did a little bit of Parmesan into the bread and um, flour mixture. Well, the, you know, what is this called? Bread crumb mixture. Um, just a little bit to give it some extra oomph. And then I'm gonna season every single part of this dish. So the flour mixture and then the egg. And then I need to buy some Italian seasoning, but I'm gonna do it to both. And then of course, salt. And I'm just going to give this a nice mix before we go ahead and dip our chicken in it. Okay, so everything is nicely mixed in. I did one already because I thought I was rolling, but I wasn't. So you're going to take your chicken breast. And from one chicken breast, I got about two large pieces and a very, very little piece right here. That's from one chicken breast. All right, I'm gonna dip this in the egg first. There we go. Try to get the excess egg off as much as possible. And then you're gonna dip it into your breading. Let's get it in the coating right here. And then you are gonna place this on your baking sheet, okay? My chicken is breaded, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this into the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Depending on the thickness of your chicken breast, the time is gonna vary. So for me, probably 20 to 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna meet you here so we can top it with the rest of our stuff and just finish it off and make it a fabulous, fabulous dinner. All right, so my chicken is fully cooked through. I did forget to say, if you have like oil, I would just either drizzle it or spray some on because I didn't and my chicken, the tops of it, most of it is pretty good, but you see the edges, they're kind of dry. So that is why, but you know what? It's fine. It'll still be delicious, but, but that's real life people. This is not, this is not a restaurant. <laughs> so, although I'm sure they make mistakes at restaurants too. All right, so what I'm doing now is I am putting some of my sauce on my chicken. I would say in total, I probably used about a cup or so. And then, all right, I'm back. You're gonna need some parm. So I'm gonna grate that right on top. Or you can do this over the mozzarella, whatever you want but it is Parmesan chicken, so don't be stingy with the parm, people. Don't be stingy with the parm. Okay, that is good for me. Set this aside. And then you're gonna finish it off with your mozzarella. Ugh, it smells so good, I can't even. And I'm gonna serve this along pasta, but you can do with a salad, whatever your heart desires, you know. It is your kitchen and it is your belly, people. extra cheese for this one. All right, that is good for me. So my chicken is all set. I'm gonna put this back into the oven for a few minutes just for the cheese to melt, and then I'm gonna enjoy it with some pasta. I hope you guys love this recipe. Um, again, if you have some oil, I would drizzle it over the chicken because it got a little bit dry around the edges, so that'll save you. Um, again, I appreciate you guys watching. I can't wait to share the next one with you. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below. Make sure you subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.